Hello out there, and as you can tell from the title of this video, we have a, uh, a little bit of a challenge today, the $150 collection challenge. And I will get into what that means in just a minute, but before I do, I want to uh, share with you just a couple knives that we're going to be doing first looks of and overviews of in just a, uh, a few days. So really excited about those. This one right here is one of them. This is the Tangram Santa Fe. It is a budget model made by Kaiser. So it's the first one in this line, and it has been a pretty cool knife so far. So we'll be doing a video of that very shortly. And also, even more exciting is the fact that the Spyderco Sliver Axe is going to be delivered to me in just another day or two, and I will be getting a first look video of that as soon as possible, because that is one of the most anticipated knives of the year for me. So uh, stay tuned for all that stuff, but let's get into what this challenge is all about. And I've been thinking a lot lately, guys, about what my priorities are as just a, a knife collector and, and the things that I value the most in terms of cost or ergonomics or what kinds of knives matter in the collection. And so I came up with this idea of if I only had $150 to spend on a knife collection, what would that collection look like? And it's something that I think is an interesting question for anyone to answer because you have to really figure out what your priorities are. Do you wanna have a, a big collection with a bunch of different budget knives? Or do you wanna have like one more expensive knife and then maybe one or two budget knives to, to play off of it? You know, would you wanna have a gents carry or fixed blades or specific steels? Like what are the things that would matter to you the most? And I think there's just a really cool opportunity to see a ton of, of variety in all of the responses. So if you are interested in doing this, um, if you make videos, post a video and let me know, I will uh, make a playlist uh, with all of the responses. If you're on Instagram, just take a picture or you can just comment down below. You know, Patty's Potato Peelers did a three by two challenge that was very, very cool about a month or so ago. And a bunch of people responded to it and it was really neat. And so, you know, this is the sort of thing that I would like to see that kind of response if uh, if anyone's interested in sharing that. And it isn't easy. You know, <laughs> this took me, I thought this would be like a five minute challenge. This took me like an hour because I had to pick apart all of the knives that I wanted to go with and figure out pricing and all that stuff. So let's get into more of that. So the guidelines are basically that you have $150 to pick your entire knife collection. It doesn't have to be something that you currently own. Um, I would say just US prices only. So if you are overseas, don't worry about the fact that all those knives are, are overpriced for you. You know, let's just keep it an even playing field and not worry about shipping either. And so I just use like Amazon, Blade HQ, a couple other places where I regularly shop and found, you know, the best price on a new knife and gave myself $150 to play with. And so here are my choices for what my collection would be if I only had 150 bucks. Oh, and real quickly, the reason why I went with 150 was I thought that if you went with $200, yeah, you'd be able to get like a Benchmade 940 and that would be really cool. But, uh, but I just thought it gave, um, gave the opportunity to make too big of a collection and, and it would be a little too easy to get all the things that you want. So $150 makes it pretty tough and, and really interesting. So number one, I did have to go with the Benchmade Mini Griptilian and it killed the entire rest of the process to do that. Because I've had my mini grips for a while. I buy them, you know, wherever, wherever I can get them or I trade for them. I haven't bought a retail priced mini grip like ever. So ninety three fifty surprised me. I didn't think they costed that much anymore. So ninety three fifty on like Blade HQ and Amazon, uh, man, that just put a damper on the whole thing because it only gives me like fifty what fifty six fifty left to play with which is tough. But at the end of the day, I, I had to stick with it. I had to go with the mini grip. You know, I thought about you know, throwing in a Delica or something else instead and just having all that extra money to play with. And again, it would be really interesting to see if some of you were to do that and then just have the, the rest of that money to, uh, to allocate towards other knives. But I had to go with the mini grip. It's just one of my absolute favorite knives. It's a, it's a go-to. It's sturdy. And I know it will last me a very, very long time. So... 9350, a huge chunk of the budget there, but um, definitely getting one that I can count on for the duration. All right, and then the next knife is the CRKT Squid, coming in at 1799. 
Now, the squid that I have on hand is the G10 version, which is a little more expensive. My regular squid is actually not mine, it's my wife's EDC, so I don't have that in front of the camera right now. But um, $17.99 for a CRKT squid, just a great little knife. You know, really sturdy, nicely built, uh, good frame lock. The 8CR13 MOV certainly isn't the best steel, but you know, when we are trying to, to manage a, uh, a budget, we have to make these decisions, and it is easy to maintain and just a great blade. So always really like the squid. $17.99, probably a little more than I'd want to pay for it, but definitely want to have a smaller knife in this uh, in this collection. All right, and then next we have the Ganzo, the Ganzo 756, coming in at $16.95 on Amazon. Um, this is just a great knife. You know, it, it almost won my best budget knife overall when I did the, uh, the last knife slicing video on it. It's an excellently built knife, really strong. It has that 940 look, but it is a, a thicker, beefier, bigger knife. So just a good, somewhat large folder to have in a uh, very limited collection. You know, the 440C, uh, the steel on this has always impressed me. Just really like this knife, the way that it feels in hand, and it's a good knife for if you have maybe a, a, a fixed blade quality task, but you don't have a fixed blade. This one could work in a pinch, so definitely a good one to have involved. And then next, speaking of fixed blades, I had really tough choices to finish out the, uh, the collection and I had to go with a fixed blade, and I had to be as inexpensive as possible, and so that means the Mora. The Mora Companion coming in at $12.99. Just an excellent little fixed blade. I mean, these things, people rave about them, and there's good reason. I mean, it's a strong knife, really well built, ergonomic, obviously not gonna be the best materials on the planet, but just a great knife to beat up. And, you know, in this situation with what this collection would be, the fixed blade would sort of be a, uh, a knife that I wouldn't use often, but would really be happy to have. And so the 13 bucks on this is definitely worth it for a $150 collection, just to have a fixed blade if you uh, need it in a pinch. All right, and then there's really no money left, guys. Just a tiny little bit of money. And so I decided to go with the SOG key knife. And I'll get into a couple of things that uh, got left out in just a second. But the SOG key knife at $7.78 is sort of a no-brainer. You don't have a lot of money to spend on a knife. This is a good one to just have as a backup. Um, I rely on this a whole lot, and I can't say enough about just how cool these knives are. And um, just, yeah, how useful it is to have one of these on your keys. So, not sure if this really qualifies as a full-on knife in the knife collection, but... It's definitely what I went with and and one that, you know, I would be really happy to have in in any kind of situation. And so when you look at all of these knives, the total collection cost 149.21 for this entire collection. Which again, I mean there are probably some of you and even me right now thinking, "Man, I could have gotten so much more if I hadn't spent 93 bucks on, on one knife, but I had to do it with that benchmade." And it messed up all of the other things I was trying to do, and the pricing just, you know, made it very difficult. But those are the decisions that I had to make. You know, I really, really wanted to get the uh, the Kershaw Thistle in here. $11 knife. And I couldn't shoehorn it in just because of the price of some of the other things. So I had to leave that out. You know, $11, this is about as good as it's going to get. This is an excellent knife. And so... That's why when I left this out, I was able to get the key knife in. But, you know, there were a number of other things that I was looking at that I would have loved to have been able to get. And, you know, had I gone with, let's say, a Spyderco Delica instead of the Benchmade and saved that money, then I would have been able to get something like this, which would have been awesome. But those are the decisions that you have to make when you have a budget. And that's what makes this video so interesting. So I'm really curious to see uh, what other people come up with, if you come up with anything, and what your thoughts are. So, you know, if I did this again, I might come up with a whole bunch of different things. And, and that's what's neat about it. So uh, let me know what matters to you and what your priorities are. And yeah, any other questions, comments, complaints, suggestions, let me know down below. But this right here is my $150 knife collection. All right, thanks for watching and take care. I'll talk with you soon.